if the first tip did not work, this is the way that you can make them all run more smooth, a little bit more fast and everything else. So again, turn off your phone. Now, if you do have an Exynos version running Samsung One UI 3.0, just remember to plug in this Type-C headphone jack. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today we'll be talking about two very important steps to take if you own a Samsung Galaxy device. And this will work on every single Samsung phone out there. So this first one that we will be talking about today is one that's called Wipe Cache Partition. This is one that you do right after you update your phone. Because once you update your phone to a new software version or a brand new Samsung One UI, there's a lot of applications sitting in there that could be running on older softwares or they're trying to run the new ones. And there's just a lot of data that's just kind of sitting there, a lot of cached information, and you want to get rid of those so you don't run into any issues. Now, this next one is one that you can do really at any point in time. And this is when even if you don't update your phone, maybe you just wanted to do this today, maybe do it again in another week, you're able to repair all of your applications and it's going to go through the whole process of re-optimizing every application on your phone. And both of these here will not delete any data on your phone. Now, this last bit of information for repairing of the applications, I've already tested this, but I do want to give a big shout out to who sent this over, which is Farad Sharaf. So a big thank you to you for sending all this information out. Now, when it comes down to repairing applications, again, it just resets all the applications, re-optimizes every single thing. So if you run into any app crashes or any applications that's running slower, this is something that you're able to do to fix that. So how you're able to get into this screen here, this is the recovery mode. It's very easy to do, and you're not really going to mess anything up as long as you follow all the steps here in this video. All you want to do is first turn off your phone. Now, if you are running on Samsung One UI 3.0, and if you find out in terms of this last one over here, uh, the repair applications, if you find that it doesn't work and you're running on Samsung One UI 3.0, maybe you're using the Exynos versions. I had no problems with it here on my Snapdragon phone. All you'd have to do is just grab one of Samsung's headsets, the AKG headsets with the Type-C. Once you plug it into the port right now, when your phone is turned off, then it'll allow you to do this. So how you're able to get inside the recovery mode is by pressing and holding on volume up and the power button at the same time. And all you gotta do is just wait for this thing to turn on. And then once you see the Android guy's logo, then you're able to let go. Now, once you are in this screen, the first one that we will do, now this is just talking about the one for that wipe cache partition. So this is what will happen if you update your phone. So anytime you do any type of an update, a software update, uh, something for the Samsung What Do I update, something that even goes from Android 10 to Android 11, this is something that's very important to do right after you do the update. So how you're able to select is by going up and down with your volumes. Then you just use your power button to uh, to select whichever option. You can move down to yes. So now it's just going to wipe all that data. So it's going to be wiping all the data sitting inside of there that doesn't really need to be kept. Then you just go to reboot now. Now, the reason why I'm showing you both of these phones here at the same time is because the Galaxy Z Fold 2 here is running on Samsung One UI 2.5 and the Samsung S20 over here is sitting on Samsung One UI 3.0. And once your phone turns right back on after wiping the cache partition, you do need to go through and type in your PIN. So now that these phones are turned on, at this point in the video, I do want to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices and these small little tips and tricks to make sure that you are optimizing and making your phone run the best it can make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos and now on to the second part of today's video now this one you're able to do really at any point in time you can do it several times a month if you want to you can do it once a week it's a way that you're able to repair all your app applications it's a way that you're able to re-optimize every app on your phone so again if you run into any applications that's slow sluggish causing any type of issues. If the first tip did not work, this is the way that you can make them all run more smooth, a little bit more fast and everything else. So again, turn off your phone. Now, if you do have an Exynos version running Samsung One UI 3.0, just remember to plug in this Type-C headphone jack. It's just, you know, the, the phone's just picking up something that's inside of the uh, the Type-C port. So again, go back inside the, re the recovery mode. You wanna press up as well as the volume button simultaneously. Then once the, the Android icon pops on, you just want to let go of both of them. 
Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. And one thing I do wanna state inside of this portion of the video is that if you are a little uncomfortable with this, just trust me, you're not losing anything here. You're not doing a factory data reset. I do this all the time to my phones, except for this repair apps. I just learned this one today, but this is just re-optimizing everything. So again, once you go inside of this screen here, you're gonna to go to the very bottom and you're able to select it with the volume rocker. Now this one will take a little bit of time for it to reload and boot back up just because it is optimizing every single thing. So when you do a full uh, software update, when it states that you are optimizing like 300 or 400 applications, that is what this is doing. So it turns off instantly right away. Then you're gonna see on the bottom, it says that it's optimizing a, about 300 or 400 applications. So over here on the Galaxy S20, this was running on Samsung One UI 3.0. Uh, and this one is optimizing 466 applications. This one over here, we don't see the number just yet or anything like that. This one's running on Samsung One UI 2.5. And this one is my daily driver. This is the phone that has my SIM card in it that I use every single day for every single thing, every single post. So again, you can definitely feel comfortable with doing both of these little tips in today's video. Now, one thing I just remembered is that if you don't have a Type-C uh, connector of headphones, maybe you do have possibly one of these dongles, mm -hmm. one of these adapters that you are able to plug in a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom. These are super cheap. I got this one off Amazon. I believe they're about like seven or $9 and, and they actually work really well if you needed to use still a headset that is 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you don't have uh, the 3.5 on the phone itself. So now that the phones are turned right back on, again, you do need to go through, type in your pin because your phone did restart. And that is it for today's video. These are two pretty big tips to optimize and just make sure that your phone is running to the best ability it can. The first one is the wipe cache partition. That is what you wanna do any time that you update your phone. If it's gonna be a big Android update, if it's gonna be a regular software update. So then if there's any type of applications that got updated, there's a lot of data and cache stored with every single app on your phone. You can see that there is a lot over 400 different applications. So if you're running into an issue, you might not know what it is, and that's gonna wipe all that stuff that's kind of just sitting there in limbo. Then this last one that we just got done talking about was a way that you're able to repair your apps. You can optimize them. So this way, if you do have any type of app crashes or any of that type of stuff, uh, then this is gonna fix any of those. And again, that one you can do once a week if you want to fully optimize your phone. But I hope you guys have liked today's video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.